Hello, myself Nagarjuna B, lecturer, Department of Computer Science, Vijayanagar College, Osapete. Today, we shall see about a transaction state which occurs in a DBMS. First, initially, what is meant by transaction or transactions? So, transaction is a collection of operations that form a single logical unit of work. For example, telephone bill payment which made through an internet banking. For example, when we want to make a bill payment of a telephone, for example, consider a BSNL company bill has to be paid and we are using an internet banking facility. So here uh, we will be using uh, two websites. One we will go to an BSNL website where we need to enter the username, telephone number and the password. Then the bill will be shown. After that we need to select the option of internet banking. There is a payment option. Then it will take to the uh, banking server website where we need to enter the username, password which has been given by the bank. After that the payment option will come then we need to make the payment by entering an OTP uh, then the payment will be made so here when we say yes the so payment is made what happens is our uh, amount which is present in the bank account will be debited and it will be credited into an BSNL bank account so here two things will happen one the amount will be debited in our account and the amount will be created in the BSNL account. So this whole procedure, whatever is, is there, it is called as a transaction because it is a single logical unit. It is just a telephone bill payment. Now, look at this diagram. So this is a, a pictorial representation of a various transaction states. So we can see that initially the database so this is the initial state after uh, then active after that it will move to an partially committed then it will come to an committed so when it is committed so here we can see that the database will be updated if the transaction has been failed then it will come to aborted state then we can see that the database has been restored to an initial state after aborted or a committed it will come to an state that is called as a terminated so which we look in detail one by one so this is just a pictorial representation of various states which are present in a dbms transaction active state partially committed state failed state committed state terminated state aborted state a transaction must be in one of the following states initially active state so this is the initial state the transaction states in this state while it is executing means when it is executing it will be present in an state that state is called as an active state partially committed a transaction is in this state when it has executed the final statement when it has executed the final statement then it is called as a partially committed state failed state a transaction is in this state once the normal execution of a transaction cannot proceed means during a transaction if something error occurs or a failure occurs then it will be an failed state aborted state a transaction is said to be aborted when a transaction has rolled back when a transaction has rolled back and the database is being restored to the consistent state prior to the start of the transaction means when the transaction has been aborted here whatever data initially it was present before the start of the transaction the database will be brought to the same state means the values will not be changed in a database committed state a transaction is in committed state 
once it has been successfully executed and the database is transformed into a new consistent state means from active state it will come to a partially committed where it is executing the final statement of a transaction once it is successful it will come to end state and that state is called as a committed state so here we can see the database has been updated with the changes which has been occurred due to a transaction terminated a terminated state will occur in either case either it might be an committed or may it might be an aborted in any one of these case after that it will come to an terminated state that means the end of a transaction either it might be an successful means committed either it might be an aborted that means unsuccessful due to an failure that failure might be with respect to an software failure hardware failure or network crashes or any other kind of failures when a transaction aborts the system has two options as follows one is restart the transaction another one is kill the transaction first we shall see about restart the transaction if the transaction was aborted as a result of an hardware failure or some software error other than the logical error it can be restarted the restart transaction will be considered as a new transaction It means due to a hardware failure or due to software failure we are going to restart the transaction and this restarted transaction is considered as a new transaction another one option the system has got is kill the transaction if the application program that initiated the transaction has some logical error that cannot be corrected by rewriting the program or if the input data for the transaction was corrupted or if the data required for the transaction was not present in the database then the transaction is killed that means whatever the logic you are written and due to that logic an error has occurred in the transaction which cannot be rewritten in those cases we need to kill the transaction so these are the two options which the system has got if the transaction has been aborted one is restart the transaction another one is kill the transaction so this is a simple presentation regarding the transaction states 